In 24 hours, I will be in the Miami International Airport getting on my flight to Barcelona, Spain. I have so much that I need to still get done, including packing everything on the bed, which we will get to soon. Today is gonna be a whirlwind and I'm gonna bring you guys along, so let's go. I've been trying to be very organized with my packing this time around since we are going to be in Europe for two months, or at least I'm gonna be in Europe for two months and it's gonna be there for a little over a month. So I laid everything out on the bed. I'm feeling pretty proud of myself. So this is what I've narrowed down to, including these three pairs of shoes I don't know if I'm 100% going to be able to fit these, but I'm really gonna try because the going out scene in Spain is pretty prominent and I'm not really feeling my Air Force Ones at a club. So we'll see what we can do with that. The goal now is to fit everything here into these three packing cubes, which in turn will fit into this lovely 55 liter Osprey Fairview backpack. So let's start with the shirt section. All of these are tops. These are kind of my tank tops. So these will take up hardly any room at all. They're just some basic cropped tank tops that will go with a ton of different outfits. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these. These are just a little bit more casual tops that I can wear out to dinner or just on a casual day. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tops here. And then this is a long sleeve top. And then this is my stripy button down that I wear all the time. It's amazing. And then over here is my plain outfit. So I have my fanny pack. This is like a really comfortable long sleeve pullover, pair of leggings, and my jean jacket, and then my Air Force Ones. I was a little skeptical about bringing the jean jacket because it's very large and bulky, but I'm pretty much just gonna wear that every time I travel, so I'm never gonna have to put it in my actual backpack. And the reason for me bringing it is because Barcelona and Valencia are actually only gonna get up to like 72 degrees while we're there. So it's gonna be in the 60s most of the time. I'm also going to the Netherlands for like three days in like a little over a month. So I think it'll be nice to have kind of a little warmer layer. Here are all of the bottoms that I'm bringing. I have two pairs pairs of flowy pants. This is a black skirt that I can wear out at night. This is another really easy to pack black pair of pants that I can wear out, a pair of leather leggings. These are my white flowy shorts that I live in. My high-waisted jean shorts, which are a must. And then a good old pair of high-waisted jeans. This section are some of my dresses and rompers. This is kind of like a more casual bathing suit cover-up romper. This is one of my favorite strapless rompers. It's super cute and comfy. This is a yellow maxi dress. My blue maxi dress. This is a black romper. Goes with literally everything. And then this is actually a really nice bodycon midi black dress that I can wear out at night. And then this is my my cute yellow floral cardigan. So this is my pile of workout clothes. So we have four sports bras here, a little workout set here, black pair of leggings, three pairs of workout shorts, a blue v-neck, white tank top, and another white tank top. This is a whole pile of bikinis, which will pack down pretty easily, but I'm kind of bringing all of them. This is my microfiber towel. Highly recommend bringing one of these, especially if you're staying in hostels. I will link mine in the description below. A little baseball cap, three hair accessories, one bra, and then and pretty much all of my underwear and socks and a pair of fuzzy socks because it's just necessary. One purse and these are like my comfy clothes. So I have one comfy t-shirt, pair of comfy shorts and my pajama pants. As for shoes, I have my running shoes, my Birkenstocks, and my heels, like I mentioned, I'll let you know if I actually fit these. And then my Air Force One's over there. I'll keep you posted as to whether or not I am able to fit everything, but I'm fairly confident that it will all go in. But just some general tips for how I pack really minimalistically on my travels. I kind of tend to ask myself the same few questions. The first thing I'll ask myself is, Am I okay re-wearing this piece of clothing multiple times? Because it's pretty pointless to bring one dress or one top that you're only gonna wear like once or twice on like a hypothetical occasion. Like, ooh, this would be the perfect cathedral outfit or winery outfit. It's like, I get the appeal, but if you're only packing in a backpack, you need to make sure that you're packing items that will not only make sense in a variety of circumstances, but will also go with a lot of different outfits. So I'll ask myself, does this go with like two or three or more different different outfits and can I dress this up or down? So a great example of something like that is this black romper here. It's super cute. I got it on sale at Urban Outfitters. It has like an open back with this tie and this is super easy to dress up or down and also wear in a variety of circumstances. So for example, I could throw this on with my Air Force Ones and a jean jacket and it's like the perfect walk around town and see the sights outfit. I could also throw this on with a cool pair of earrings and these black heels and you've got a perfect going out outfit 
at night. So that's kind of how I view everything that I put in my bag. Obviously, depending on where you go will vary drastically what you're gonna pack. For Europe, this is a little bit different packing than I have been packing for like Colombia and Peru and places like that. But yeah, those are kind of the main things that I ask myself before I start packing and then also helps me to narrow down what I'm actually going to put in my bag. So yesterday was the first day that I started packing and there was a lot more on this bed than you can see now because what I did was I pulled out all of my potential options. I knew for a fact that I was not gonna bring everything on the bed. I was probably going to take out at least a fourth of what I put out, but it's just good to have any options out that you're like, okay, I definitely could see myself wearing this on this trip. And then from there, ask the questions that I mentioned earlier, and then you can kind of remove things from there. The best part of Walmart, the lovely travel section. Nice. Okay, so this is everything I got at the store. I got shampoo. This is the moisturizer I always use. I'm almost out. Actually, you just needed a new toothbrush, travel size body wash, a little face wash, and then a thing of powder that I'm running out of. I already have a bunch of travel size conditioners and I have a little thing of toothpaste as well as my big thing of sunscreen. So that's the first one done. I'm hoping I can fit the rest of this into this one and that one. Yay. Pretty much got everything in here and I'm so happy. So this one's the biggest one. It has all my bottoms, dresses, and a few like random miscellaneous items, my pajamas and stuff like that. This is the medium one. It has all of my tops and workout clothes. And then this is the smallest one. It has all my bathing suits and underwear and bra and all that. So I only ended up taking out a few things. Some just didn't fit, but honestly, I think I'm totally fine living without these. First thing I took out were these leather leggings because I already have a black pair of pants that I'm gonna wear to like similar things. So I don't need two. This shirt, it's so cute, but I never end up wearing it. And it also is really wrinkly all the time. This was just an extra tank. I really don't need it. These black shorts, which are great, but I already have two pairs of workout shorts, so I don't really need a third. But yeah, everything else I fit into these cubes. I'm pretty happy with them. They actually, when I took them out of the package, got a little nervous. I was like, ooh, these are a little smaller than I thought. But I was able to like stuff things into the back. I recommend like zipping it up halfway and then stuffing things into like a corner. It gives you a lot more room. But yeah, I'm able to fit everything in. So now we just gotta put it in the backpack. Okay, so this is the backpack I'm using. It is a Osprey Fairview 55 liter, like I mentioned. This actual backpack here is 45 liters. And then I have this 10 liter day pack which I'm obsessed with this is where I'll store some other stuff but this is the main place where we're gonna put all of our packing cubes but before I do that I put the shoes in here so put these here my Burks and these two pairs fit perfectly in here then I zip it up halfway just makes it easier to get the cubes in moment of truth oh piece of cake Hard part. Woohoo! Boom! We got it. So now that we've got the main thing packed, I'm gonna put on this bad boy. Basically, just do this. There's some zippers on the side. So this zipper here goes with this. So you just slide it in. <laughs> Okay, now we got this on. I usually will put my makeup bag in here with all like my face wash and everything. We'll see if we can fit a shoe in here. Not totally sure if that's gonna work. Okay, we're about to head to the airport. It's the big day. Look how big my bag is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I haven't introduced my partner in crime yet. Meet Ansley, my younger sister and travel buddy on this backpacking adventure through Spain. 
This is actually Ansley's very first time ever backpacking, so it's gonna be a wild ride for the both of us. We're about to drive four hours to Miami. The adventure begins now. Let's go. Let's go. So we are at Tampa International Airport, but we're literally just here to get a rental car because we're actually going to Miami. So this feels very weird. We've never done this before. Completely empty. It's completely it's empty. Weird. We've had a very chaotic travel day. The line at the baggage claim was so insanely long that we like fully almost missed. It was awful. Yeah. We are boarding in like 10 minutes, so we're going to wash our face and try and calm ourselves. I have Simple to get flight. unwired. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I need to go on a run right now. I'm going a little crazy. <laughs> She's freaking out a little bit. So we're gonna get in zen mode. So I have a whole thing. I didn't bring that. <laughs> And it's like, I brought my toothbrush. I brought my toothbrush and some body lotion. So I brought more than that. <laughs> we're gonna do a little face washing session. They're apparently serving us dinner on the plane, so we'll brush our teeth on the plane. This will serve as a final boarding announcement for American Flight 1286 to Raleigh, Durham. That's not us, okay, key. cool. We have toothbrush, Vaseline, deodorant, oh, face moisturizer, body lotion, and <laughs> the face wash that Ansley's using. <laughs> and a little thing of toothpaste. I also brought the goods, liquid IV. I don't go anywhere without it. I have a discount in the description if you want to get some. Have your attention, Have your attention. There's no, there's, the there's no the towels. <laughs> You're doing great. Towel. It's not the zen experience that I wanted it to be. It'll be zen when we get there. We'll drink some wine, it'll be great. You look flustered. Good. I finally arrived in Barcelona. I am so happy. It was a very long travel day, but that's to be expected. So we're currently waiting for our bags right now, but really quickly while I have time to talk to you, if you're planning to come to Spain anytime soon, right now as I'm filming this, it's May of 2022, you do need to either have a vaccination card and proof that you've been vaccinated within the last 270 days, I believe. So if you got vaccinated like a year ago, you either need to have gotten a booster or get a negative COVID test before coming here, at least from the US. Definitely check out kayak.com for the up-to-date news. That's where I check for all of the countries that I go to. But apart from that, it's really easy to get in you just need a passport and uh yeah that's about it so we're gonna go get our bags and then either get a cab or a bus to our hostel we haven't totally decided which one yet make sure you like this video and subscribe to watch our adventures through spain portugal and beyond over these next few months and of course some sick digital nomad adventures along the way i'll see you in the next one bye